At first, we are going to talk about the new story Harpin's King Hall. It's a story of Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez, at the beginning of his life, his life was good. He, uh, his family has range, but there's a problem that happened for them. What is this problem? There was a drought that destroyed everything in their country. I mean here, Arizona. So Caesar's family decided to move from Arizona to California. For the ranch that they had, they weren't, and the family wasn't the owner of this ranch. They were renting it. After the drought, they couldn't pay the, uh, the funds of this ranch. So they couldn't live one. So they decided to move from Arizona to California. But what happened for them there in California? There they were treated badly by the landowners as they worked as, as farm workers. I mean the family of the Chavez and all the farm workers were treated badly by the landowners. How they were treated with no throw reading. Now let's listen to know what is the genre of the story. Genre. A biography is the story of a real person's life that has been written by another person. As you read, notice the clues that tell you this is a story about a real person. So the first question that I'd like to ask, what is the genre of the story? If you know the answer, raise your hand without making any noise. If you know the answer, raise your hand. What is the genre of the story? Yes, Abdurrahman Tamim, what is the genre? The genre is biography. Can you explain it? Biography is a story for a real person, but it has been written by another person. Yes, well done, Abdurrahman Tamim. Excellent. So as we said, the biography is a story of a real person's life that is written by another person. Okay, let's commit this. Harvesting Hope, the story of Cesar Chavez by Kathleen Kroll, illustrated by Yugi Morales. Question of the week. How can we combine our resources to make change? Now let's listen to know more details about this story. Until Cesar Chavez was 10, every summer night was like a fiesta. Relatives swarmed onto the ranch. What does it mean, the word fiesta? If you know the answer, raise your hand. Fiesta, what does it mean? We start it when we explain that the spelling lesson. What does it mean, the word fiesta? Yes, Omar Abdullahi. Yes, Omar. Omar Abdel Latif. You raise your hand, Omar. What is what is the meaning of fiesta? Yes, Abdul Rahman Islam. What does it mean by the word fiesta? Uh, uh fiesta. Yes. We started in the spelling lesson. I explained the meaning of it. Hmm. Oh, fiesta. I don't remember fiesta. Okay, Abdul Rahman. Do, do, do you know Abdul Rahman? Abdul Rahman. Okay, Abdul Rahman. Is here. What is the meaning of fiesta? Fiesta, I think. Yes. I think fiesta mean, means hard, some uh, hard, uh, every, I think that it's hard or having a problem. No, 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 no. Yes, Mubarak, what does it mean fiesta? Mubarak. Yes, you raise your hand. Yes, Mubarak. Fiesta uh, book. Yes, well done. Festival or party, yes? Yes. Yes, well done, Mubarak. Excellent. Yes, as we explained before, it means party or festival. Okay. 
Thanks so much, Eduardo. Let's listen. Let's say complete listening for barbecues with watermelon, lemonade, and fresh corn. Cesar and his brothers, sisters, and cousins settled down to sleep outside under netting to keep mosquitoes out. But who could sleep with uncles and aunts singing, spinning ghost stories, and telling magical tales of life back in Mexico? Cesar thought the whole world belonged to his family. The eighty acres of their ranch were an island in the shimmering Arizona desert, and the starry skies were all their own. Many years earlier, at the first part that he explained, how was, how how good was Cesar Chavez's life? As he said, but he started by saying, "Uncle Cesar Chavez was ten every summer." Every summer night was like a fiesta, was like a party, was like a festival. Relatives swarmed onto the ranch. Swarming means moved into the same direction. The word swarming, you can write the meaning of it. Swarming means move in the same direction. Move in the same direction. Have you read the meaning of it? Move in the same direction. Swarming. Move in the same direction. Went to the ranch for barbecues where with water, bedroom, lemonade, and fresh corn. Caesar and his brothers, sisters, and cousins settled down to sleep outside under netting to keep mosquitoes out. As they use the net to uh, protect their plants against the mosquitoes. You know what does it mean, mosquitoes? This type of small ants. Yes. Yes, type of small yeah. answer. I open the mic for all of you, but please try to be silent and please pay attention to what you need, okay? Stop asking any question that is useless, okay? Mubarak, you have two devices? Mubarak? Yes, yes, mister. Okay, yes, so Mr. I, because I, I found that there's another one, okay. Uh, listen to me, please. Yes, as we said, uh, but who could sleep with uncles and the aunts? What did they do at this time or this night? Singing, spying God's stories means spying means telling or narrating. You can write the meaning of the word spying. It means narrating mm -hmm. or telling the stories, telling stories about the ghosts. And the telling and telling the magical phase of life back in Mexico. Caesar saw, uh, saw sorry, Caesar saw, Caesar saw the, the home which belonged to his family, the 80 acres. Acres, what does it mean? Acres is the measure, is the unit of measuring an area of land. Acres, you can write the meaning. You follow me, grade six or more? Yes, Mr. Amudio, yeah. what is yeah. the meaning? The word acres, the unit of measuring and area of land. The unit of measuring and area of land, okay? Of the ranch where an island in the shine in the shining, shining mean or shining, sorry, shining means glittering Arizona desert. Glittering, the word shining, this one. Shimmering, this one means glittering, glittering. And the starry skies were all there on. Starry means fall of the stars. Starry skies means fall of stars. So that the sky is full of stars. What happened? Let's complete listening. Cesar's grandfather had built their spacious adobe house to last forever with walls 18 inches thick. A vegetable garden, cows, and chickens supplied all the food they could want. Spacious adobe house. What does it mean? Do you know? Again, spacious adobe house. What does it mean? It means a large house that is made of clay. Large house that is made of clay. You know the, the houses that is made in the country, in the on the farm, in the fields. You know this yeah. type of houses. Yes. 
They are made yes. of clay, yes? Is it a special? Yes, 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 yes. A special means large, okay? Special as a house means large house that are made of clay. Let's continue listening. With hundreds of cousins on farms nearby, there was always someone to play with. Cesar's best friend was his brother, Richard. They never spent a day apart. Yes. At the first day at school, what happened for Cesar's shepherds? Let's listen. Cesar was so happy at home that he was a little afraid when school started. On his first day, he grabbed the seat next to his older sister, Rita. The teacher moved him to another seat, and Cesar flew out the door and ran home. It took three days of coaxing for him to return to school and take his place with the other first graders. Cesar was stubborn, but he was not a fighter. His mother cautioned her children against fighting, urging them to use their minds and mouths to work out conflicts. So at the beginning of his life at the school, Caesar was so happy at home, at first, at home, that he was little, that he was a little afraid when he when the school started. On his first day, he drew a seat. He drew a chair next to his older sister Rita. He wanted to sit beside his sister. What happened? The teacher moved him to another seat, and Caesar flew out the door and ran home. They tried to persuade him for about three days. As he said, it took three days of coaxing. The word coaxing means persuading. Coaxing, this one, it means persuading, convincing. Okay, they tried to persuade him. You follow me, Gideon Yes, Mr. Yes. I okay. yes. I am with you. Okay. Yes, sir, we're with you. Okay. It took three days of coaxing for him, three days to persuade him to return back to school and take his place with the other first graders. Caesar was stubborn. Stubborn means the one who refused to listen for the orders. For example, if I ask you to do something and you say, no, I am not doing it. So you are stubborn. You insist on to, not to do this thing. So you are stubborn. I hope that you understood the meaning of stubborn. It's a clear for you, the meaning of it. That I yes. don't want. Okay. Yes, Mister, the one who is the one seeing so, so someone to do something and the another one refuse. So is uh, stepper. Yes, stepper. Uh, but he was not a fighter. His mother cautioned her children. Caution means warn it. Caution means warn it. Okay. Her children okay. again, her children again is fighting. Arguing them. Arguing means asking them. Arguing means asking them to use their to use their minds and mouths to work out conflicts. Let's know the beginning of suffering of Caesar Chapez's family and Caesar himself. How they suffered a lot after the drought. What happened for them? Then, in 1937, the summer Cesar was 10, the trees around the ranch began to wilt. The what is the setting of this story? Who can tell me? Raise your hand without making I know. noise. What is the setting of this story? So, all listening. What is the setting of this story? Yes, Amr Abdel Latif, you can answer. In 1937. Yes, and the place will be? And the home. I know, Mr. No, we said that we, they, they moved from Arizona to California, yes? Yeah, from So Arizona, the setting would be in 19, 1937 uh, is the 19. time? Yes, and the places uh, yeah. will be the places California. Arizona, California. Arizona yeah. and California. Uh, Arizona, California. Okay. Yes, thanks so much, Omar Abdullah. Uh, let's listen to know what happened for them during the, the drought. Use their minds and mouths to work out conflicts. Then in 1937, the summer Cesar was 10, the trees around the ranch began to wilt. The sun baked the farm soil rock hard. A drought was choking the life out of Arizona. What does it mean to wear it once? 
what does it what? mean? Went. The highlight is yes. The highlight is wrong. I know, Mister. Yes, Mister. Can you answer? Yes, Mister. Yes, Ahmed. Yes, Ahmed. It is. It means bending and going down. Yes. Yes, well done. Bend down. Yes, well done. So because of the drought, what happened for them? Huh? The trees around the marsh. Uh, sorry, the the trees around. And make it bigger. Sorry. Started to wilt. Yes. No, I don't see anything. The tree around the ranch. What happened? Began to what? And the sun baked the farm soil rock hard. A drought was choking the life of uh, life out of. Arizona. As without water for the crops, they can't get the plants. They couldn't make money to pay the price of the ranch at the end. So they weren't the owner of the ranch. They were renters. Great. Oh, uh, Mister. Uh, uh, we, they have a ranch and they don't. No, they, they, this ranch, they paid money for it. Okay, but for example, but I can give you someone uh, a land and ask him to plant it. Okay. Again, is that I can give took him money the to money. plant to the land? Yes. 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 So oh. I consider them that they are the rent, the rent of uh, of this land, of oh, this okay. land. Okay. Okay. Let's continue to see. Without water for the crops, the Chavez family couldn't make money to pay its bills. There came a day when Cesar's mother couldn't stop crying. In a daze, Cesar watched his father strap their possessions onto the roof of their old car. After a long struggle, the family no longer owned the ranch. They had no choice but to join the hundreds of thousands of people fleeing to the green valleys of California to look for work. So, after the trial, the family decided to move from Arizona to, uh, from Arizona to California. Why? To find work. As if their life became very hard after the drought. So they decided to search for another place to get their living, to be able to live one. So as he said, what happened there here? He said what the, the father, as we can use this part for you, uh, after long struggle, yes. Yes, uh, Caesar watched his father strand, strand their positions onto the, the roof of their old car. He knew that his father collected everything that he had and put it on the old car. So this, uh, to, uh, as they decided to move from Arizona to California. But what happened there and how they, how they left in California? How was the life there in California? That's what known as an experiment. Cesar's old life had vanished. Now he and his family were migrants, working on other people's farms, crisscrossing California, picking whatever fruits and vegetables were in season. When the Chavez family arrived at the first of their new homes in California, they found a battered old shed. Its doors were missing and garbage covered the dirt floor. Cold, damp air seeped into their bedding and clothes. They shared water and outdoor toilets with a dozen other families, and overcrowding made everything filthy. The neighbors were constantly fighting, and the noise upset Cesar. He had no place to play games with Richard. Meals were sometimes made of dandelion greens gathered along the road. So the life there in California was a miserable life, was a sad life, was a bad life, a bad living for them. How they left them? As you said, when, she, when the Chavez family arrived at the first of their new, uh, new uh, homes in California, they found a better to all shed. Better to all shed, it means all the small house made of wood. All the small house that's made of wood. Its doors were missing. This house was without doors. There is no doors for this house. And garbage means rubbish huh? covered the dirt floor. Called down uh, air seep, uh, air seep, air seep into their bedding and clothes. So nothing can prevent wind and the air from entering the house. 
because there's no doors, as, as there, are, uh, there are no doors at the front. And the overcrowding made everything funky. The neighbors were constantly fighting. There's noise there because of the fighting, because of the fighting of the neighbors. And the noise of upset Caesar. He was annoyed. He was annoyed by this noise. He had no place to play games with Richard, Richard, his brother. Meals were sometimes made of dandelion. Do you remember what does it mean by dandelion? Excellent to me a bit before. Yes, sir, I remember. I remember. Okay, Omar, huh? Uh, actually, a kind of flower. Okay, Omar, what does You said it's a type of wild, a type of wild plant. You remember? Yes. Uh, yes, gathered along the square. So this was the, their food. So nothing is acceptable for this life, yes? Do you agree with me? Yes. Yes, yeah. let's move to the next yes. paragraph to know more details. Cesar swallowed his bitter homesickness and worked alongside his family. He was small and not very strong, but still a fierce worker. Nearly every crop caused torment. Yanking out beets broke the skin between his thumb and index finger. Grapevines sprayed with bug-killing chemicals made his eyes sting and his lungs wheeze. Lettuce. The next page. As the most important part that I like for me to highlight before the session finished, this part, please listen to me. You'll highlight for this paragraph. This one, okay, highlight for this paragraph, please. Okay. Uh, all of you highlight it or no? All, yes, of the all the paragraphs, yes, all the paragraphs. Until in season? Yes, or... all the paragraphs, okay. Okay. And we have another paragraph in the next page. Okay. okay. About the, how the landowners created the, uh, the, the farm workers, okay. Uh, this paragraph will be the last one, the last paragraph, you can find is yes. from the word landowners, the last paragraph. Yes, landowners, you can find, I mean from here, is that landowners? Okay, from this the last one, paragraph? yes, the last paragraph, the one before the last, okay, is that landowners, you can find it. The yeah. third line in the, okay. the paragraph before the last one. Okay, till the end of this paragraph. Okay. Okay. I would like to tell you about this part before the session finish. For the landowners, how when they start to work as farm workers, the landowners created their workers more as we can read this part. That the landowners created their workers more like farm tools than human beings. They provided no clean drinking water, no rest barriers, or access to the bathroom. Anyone, you, have, you know what the mean of access? Huh? Access, access. yes, like what, the air is access. What? What about uh, me? Axe, axe, you mean axe, mister? Access, not axe, access. It's what? here in front of you. Where is the, the, word? Where is the word? Where? The aloneness. Ah, enter. this one. Yes, Access to enter. It means enter. Okay. To enter. I yes, think it's again, another word. Again, yeah. the land owners created their workers more like farm tools than human beings. They provided no clean drinking water, rest periods, or access to the to bathrooms. Anyone who complained what happened for him was fired, beaten up or sometimes even margin. You know how suffering, how was the suffering for the farm workers? Highlight for this part, yes. please. Have you highlighted? Yes, I highlighted. This one is the oh, most yes, important I part like that we have. To yes. Do. Okay, let's complete listening. Had to be the worst. Thinning lettuce all day with a short-handled hoe would make hot spasms shoot through his back. Farm chores on someone else's farm instead of on his own felt like a form of slavery. 
The Chavez family talked constantly of saving enough money to buy back their ranch. But by each sundown, the whole family had earned as little as 30 cents for the day's work. As the years blurred together, they spoke of the ranch less and less. The towns weren't much better than the fields. White trade only signs were displayed in many stores and restaurants. None of the 35 schools Cesar attended over the years seemed like a safe place either. Once, after Cesar broke the rule about speaking English at all times, a teacher hung a sign on him that read, I am a clown. I speak Spanish. So this one of the situation that happened to Cesar and made him to hate the school. What the situation is for the school is uh, they, they have the rule, as you said. Caesar broke this rule, the rule about speaking English at all times. As you said, I told you, for example, you must speak in English. You need to speak in English during the session. This is the rule of the school, yes? Yes. You follow me? Yes, Caesar, the same. He tried to break this rule, uh, tried to break this rule as he started to speak in Spanish. He started to speak in Spanish. So for this uh, reason, the teacher, what the teacher do with him? The teacher make a sign, okay? And uh, wrote on this sign, I am a clown, I speak Spanish. At this time, teachers came to hate school because of the conflicts. So he liked to learn even he considered his eighth grade graduation from America, uh, America. America. After its uh, after eighth grade, he dropped out to work in the first all time. So he left his, the school at the at the grade at grade eight. At grade eight, he left the school because he, because of this situation that happened uh, for him. Mister, can you say again? Because I don't understand anything. Caesar at the school, okay, there is a rule that it's not allowed, for example, you must, you must talk in English, you must speak in English at the school, okay? okay? But Caesar's language is Spanish, okay? He broke okay. this rule by speaking in Spanish, not in English, okay? Okay. The teacher made a sign, his teacher made a sign and wrote in this sign, I am, I, I am a clown, I speak Spanish. I am a clown and I speak Spanish and this is clown on, on uh, Caesar, on, on him, okay? Hung this time on Caesar, okay? So Caesar started to hit the no. school. Can you, can, Mr. Can you say the last part again? He put this sign on Caesar that is written, I am a clown and speak Spanish, okay? Okay. At this time, Caesar started to hit the school. Caesar okay. left the school at the at the grade eight. He left the school. He didn't complete his study. Okay. You follow me? Okay, that's all. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Uh, okay. And for the land owners, we said how they were how they treated the farm workers. We have some question about this part before the session finished because we have only three minutes. If you know the answer, please raise your hand without making any noise. Okay. 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 Yes. Be ready for the question. The first question that we have: What is the genre of the story? I know. I said without making a noise, laser hand, and I can't see Yes, Abraham is Islam. Yes, it's a biography. It's a story about a real person written by another person. Yes, well done. Biography, a story. A biography is a story of a real person's life that has been written by another person. Excellent, Abraham is Islam. Question number two. What is the setting of the story harvesting home? Yes, Ahmed Sema. 1937, Arizona and California. Excellent. Yes, lies. Lies. Question number three. Who are the characters? We focus only the main character. Huh? Lies. Uh, 
the character no, that's, that the spirit is talking about. Huh? The spirit is talking about who? Uh, Chavez. Yes, Caesar Chavez and the farm workers. Caesar Chavez no. and the farm no. workers. We we'll focus only this one. We we'll not talk about Richard or Rita. Okay. They have flat okay. rules, but the main rules that with the heroes of the story, Caesar Chavez. Okay. And farm workers are the main characters okay, that we have, okay? Question number four, what happened to the ranch of Caesar's family and why? Yes, who can answer? Yes, Amar Meher? There was a drought, so all the plants will. Yes, so they decided to move where? Uh, to uh, from Arizona to California. Yes. To California. Yes. Can you read the answer, please? This one. Yes. The ranch was destroyed because of the drought. Mr. Drought. The drought. 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 Okay. Because of the drought. Okay, Mr. Yes, just a minute. Okay. Yes, Homer, quickly, please. Homer. The ranch was destroyed because of the drought. They couldn't make money to pay its bills. Yes. The next question, Ahmed Samah. Uh, sorry, Ahmed Walid. Ahmed Walid. Yes, mister. Uh, what did Caesar's family decided to do after they had lost their ranch? They, um, they, they decided. Yes. To travel from where to where, huh? From Arizona to... To California, Arizona. yes. The last question, how did the land owners uh, trade their workers, we said? Yes, you can answer this one. Okay, mm. can you... Yes, Abrahman, huh? How did they trade them? Uh, uh, la, la, land land owners trade their workers more like farmer tools yes. than human beings yes well done Abraham. or we can we can say that we can add that they provided Ooh. no clean drinking water nor as ferries or access to bathroom anyone who came in was hired beaten up or sometimes even okay that's all for the question that we have today thank you so much you get six sorry mr yes for being here. welcome mr Mr. Yasser, are you are the last name? Okay. Mr. Yasser, this oh. is the first time 